Content creators have been criticizing Warzone streamer mode for some time now, and with good reason. There's a lot of justifiable concerns about how poor a job it does regarding actually protecting the identities of streamers when they play online, which can be very difficult for people in any game, but particularly in BRs, where stream sniping is so prevalent, and just in general, leaving someone vulnerable to being attacked by someone who would like to be on camera bothering somebody is a difficult thing to have to deal with. But fortunately, in a recent interview with the Baka Bros, we had someone from the Call of Duty staff, a creative director, in fact, talking about a new thing coming out soon, streamer mode plus all the new features that will hopefully be included and how long, roughly speaking, we have to wait. We don't exactly have a date on when the new mode will be rolling out, but from the sounds of things, they are hard at work ensuring the community feedback being taken into account. So without further ado, let's take a look at what we know. In a recent on-stream interview with the Baka Bros, Senior Creative Director for Warzone, Ted Timmons, let us know that the new and improved Stream Remote Plus is not only more robust in terms of features, but actively being beta tested with a limited group of players, which hopefully will include even more folks sometime soon. As he explains in the clip, the new mode has been in the works for some time now and is in the hands of a few key people, including some but not all of the Baka Bros. A lot of people, particularly those who could really benefit from having access to it, even in its unfinished state, are a little frustrated that the pool is currently limited, a point that is addressed in the interview. There's a few people that have it. Uh, I have it, but a lot of people in like the community, um, they don't have streamer mode and they think it's like kind of unfair that some people have it and other people don't. How do you guys pick who has to remote and who doesn't? I think we were quite transparent that we're rolling it out to a small group as a beta. Like it wasn't meant to be like, oh, this is this exclusive club and you're either in mm -hmm. it or you're not. It was really like, we made a ton of big changes. We wanted to get that feedback from a from a small group just to say, you know, is this working for you? We role play, right? It's part of our, our role as game designers. And we were like, right, guys, let's pretend to be a stream sniper. <laughs> like, what, how, how would we snipe someone? And it's like, oh yeah, what would we look for? And it's like we'd look for the countdown timer. We'd look for like the net, the the number of players in the server. Like all these like little identifiers that someone could use to give really a content creator a, a, a tough time. And we don't want that. Well, we don't know for sure when the next rollout is going to happen, when the next batch of people will be welcomed into the beta, and of course, when the full release will be. Based on what is said in this interview, it sounds like they are already taking feedback from the closed group into account, already integrating things, and are looking for more feedback from the community in general in terms of what they want out of the new streamer mode. And certainly they've heard all of the complaints and all the things that people have been begging for up leading up until now. And we can only imagine that's already on the board. But like I said, only time will tell. And guys, like always feel free to reach out. You know, if you, if you think there's like more improvements we can make or any other changes, like, you know, we can't promise uh, that they'll be done like with, with immediacy, but we, we have uh, what we lovingly call the Misha Tracker or the Backlog which is where we just stack rank all of the things that we want to work on as a group. And then we kind of prioritize those against everything else. So always happy, you know, to hear from you. And that extends to the wider community, right? Like I'm always in Reddit. I, I read it at least twice a day, just kind of going through and seeing what, what people are talking about and what we can kind of do. Yeah. yeah, I'll definitely take this one back to the group. Um, but it's, you know, fundamentally, it's great to hear that you guys are seeing real results with, with the mode and the smaller scale beta test. And yeah, maybe there's an opportunity here that we can start to consider rolling it out to a, to a wider, a content creator group. Overall, it sounds like we're in for a better 2022 once this mode rolls out to more people. But in the meantime, I want to know how you people are feeling in the comment section down below. Are you excited for streamer mode plus finally resolving one of the long running issues with Call of Duty Warzone? Do you feel like at this point it might be a little bit too little too late? I know a lot of people have been at this point letting me know in the comment section at the very least and letting a lot of other people know that they really don't think Warzone is going to get to where it needs to at least not Warzone 1. We have Warzone 2 to look forward to, so that's a very valid perspective to have. At the end of the day, though, that's all I got for you on this story, but when there is more news on Warzone, Warzone 2, and BRs in general, esports in general, gaming in general, I'll, of course, be back with another video. But for right now, that's all I've got for you. Thank you for watching once again, and as always, folks, do have yourselves a good one.